Hey everybody, I know I look like a bum today. Yay! <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Um, I'm planning, hopefully things go as planned, to do a makeup video. So I just didn't even like, later for Ulsa. I always want to say it how I see it, not how I know it's done. I hate that about my head. Um, doing a cooking video. No gloves today, cause okay. <laughs> Mom, chiches. Hmm. Um, here's a... some pasta here. Put that over here for now. Should we break it in half? This is a farmer's market linguine, no meat. I mean, you could have added meat, but I didn't. So, it says it's supposed to take five minutes to prep. Mm -hmm. We'll see. And 40 minutes to cook or throw together. We have our thing here. I realize you can't see me cutting the veggies. I can't push that any further back and it sucks. Let's see. Sorry. There we go. Maybe. No. Oh. Hmm. Need a longer counter. <laughs> or no wall there. We should just knock out that wall. Even if it is a load bearing wall. You just put studs. Pulls. Yeah, but then it, yeah, we just need to move to. out of Tucum Carry. Oh, speaking of which, okay, the mushrooms are already chopped, so that should definitely save time. Okay, it says chop the, the mushrooms, but they're already chopped, so yay! And then we got our zucchinis. Bop, bop, bop. I'm supposed to put the mushrooms on there too? That doesn't seem right because they're chopped so small already. I think that's if they were big maybe? I don't know. Man, I should have gave these zucchinis to the dog. And their special dog food I made them. Okay, so speaking of two can carry, by the way, that restaurant I've been talking about that I, I like but I don't like the owner and that I've been worrying because, you know, there's no sign and he's always messing with the hours and it's a staple and the route 66 travelers you know all that i'm sure you might remember from one of my last video past videos I, i've talked about it often and um so today uh it was announced they're temporarily closing so, and you know, like, I say that like that, I'm going to use this Pamper Chef, I know the, <laughs> I love this garlic parmesan oil for the vegetables, since there's going to be parmesan cheese in the pasta anyways, and garlic, that should add some nice extra flavor. So yeah, it's temporarily closing, and the reason I said, I'm trying to stay on track here, people. This is how my mind works. Um, that it's temporarily closing, and I say it with quotes, because, well, he said, he never told anybody Cornerstone was closing at all. And then he said the chicken place was temporarily closing. But, yeah. No, I don't see that opening back up. So, and Kix was the one place I could actually eat. I mean, I didn't like eating there because the, of the owner, but the salads were delicious. And it's impossible to get a good salad here. The salad bar at Dell's is really good, so I'm not going to hate on them. But, you know, sometimes you like to just get a pre-made salad and with fancy toppings like blue cheese and avocados and chicken and stuff like and all the chicken or all the other salads and other places I don't know about Stone Ranch yet they just got salads there um but 
all the other places they have salads but they're like either so expensive like or they're just chicken chicken salads Chick crispy chicken or grilled chicken with the normal toppings and I'm like I don't want to pay $15 for that I can make that at home I have so many salad toppings here so where I can't remember where it was there's I think it no that was a make your own pasta Dell's has a make your own pasta the base just for the noodles is 10 bucks and then you got to add like money for the sauce and then add for the the toppings and the meat and if you want garlic bread that's extra and I'm like this is a little weird oh the tomato I gotta find the tomato I thought I had everything where is the tomato Oh, it's hiding. <laughs> oh, look, I gotta make brownies later. Uh, if you are the recipient of the brownies, you know when this video was made. And yes, Karina Kaboom, this is a pre recorded video. So, I gotta take time where I can find time. I forgot to put my soda away. Oh. So, yeah, it says it's temporarily closed. Hmm. I don't know if I remember to turn off my ringer. But yeah, and then I, I post. I actually, I don't care. I, I'm starting not to care about things. Um, I actually posted, oh, temporarily, like the chicken place. But yeah, he deleted that comment. And then he came on my post that I posted on my Facebook. And he was trying to talk trash to one of my friends. But I deleted it. Because, I mean, if he wants to delete my comments... Why does he feel like he has the right to come on my stuff and comment? So, you know, and then to attack one of my friends? Oh. Anyways, so, yeah. He's like, oh, I've ruined the town, huh? And well, I mean, you've closed down three restaurants so far. Or hopefully it's not going to be a fourth. Oh, and his place in Colorado Springs is closed down to you. So... His place in Colorado Springs had a fire. Anyways. Um. Do do do. Do do do. So yeah, that's what the gossip in Tucum Carry is today. I was just like, wow. I knew it. I saw it coming. I, I was praying that it wasn't because I literally love this place. I'm gonna chop them a little smaller for mom and I forgot to preheat the oven. Oops. Um, I'll get up and do that in a second. I'm sure you guys wanna see my chichayas. I should have had the oven preheated before I started chopping. Ugh. Look at my butt. <laughs> there we go but I was just I was kind of devastated to be honest <sighs> so cause I, I freaking I used to love kicks I used to like Cornerstone back before dude got an attitude with my family and yeah told me I was an idiot and didn't know what I was talking about because uh, back when all the restaurants were closing and you know I understand they were struggling I do but he made some remark during all those protests that were going on that he was going to open the restaurant and have people eat inside and just say it was a protest. And I, I, I told him it was kind of offensive because that was the point. 
And it was a pizza place. He could have, he, 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 if he wasn't such a jerk, he would have been fine with takeout and delivery and stuff. <clears throat> but yeah, he told me I was uneducated because of what I said. I'm like, okay, cool. This is a very red state, so, I mean, not state. No, this is a blue state. Um, this is a very red town, so, honestly, more people probably were on his side than were on mine. So, I don't know. After he told me I was stupid, I just stopped, kind of, you know. But then when he opened the new place, we decided to give it a chance, and they missed it half the toppings on our salads and these were like like I mentioned before the premium toppings and then the cheese was processed and he tried saying it wasn't processed as is you know someone from Wisconsin doesn't know what real cheese and processed cheese taste look like <laughs> so you know as if I don't know the difference between processed and real Swiss hmm. let's see garlic see so far it's been 11 minutes for prep time <clears throat> maybe it's because I'm yapping my big mouth I don't know so yeah I don't know what else is really going on in the world no I do I do but I don't want to get it too political or crazy or anything. I just don't always know what to talk about <laughs> while making these videos. Babe, do you have anything you like to talk about? Uh, not too much. <laughs> uh, let's see. But yeah, I guess I'll go back to the corner or kicks thing. I, I saw it coming. I've been talking about it on YouTube for a while now. <laughs> And I even said on the page, you know, his page a couple weeks ago that, you know, I really think that he should have online ordering or at least an online menu so people know what they're getting into. But, hey, like I said in another video, I don't own a restaurant. I don't know. I'm just stupid and uneducated. So, yep. Yeah. But, uh, and side news, it seems like the other restaurants are thriving and doing well. Um, now Stone Ranch has salads. Everybody's very happy about that. Um, Dell's has some new additions. What the world? <laughs> <laughs> we live. Yeah, right now. Ah, yes. Okay. So we live on the edge of town, kind of. It's the last street with, uh, like across the street, there are no city ordinances. I should have bought something across the street. No. Actually, there's like, there was, no, there's a school, there's a road, and there was an old falling apart uh, farmhouse that is now live in, lived in and remodeled and looking pretty nice. Um, they've rebuilt it so much that they're farming on it. Yeah, they've got cows, they've got horses, they've got goats, they've got pigs. Uh, I wonder if I still have the video of Penny and the Pig. They grow, they've got a couple <laughs> acres of, uh, of uh, field that they've already been growing on. Yeah, they're growing hay. Yeah. <laughs> and hey <laughs> um but yeah I wonder if I still have the pig with Penny <laughs> I'll have to look and then we've had turkeys come to visit and pigs come to visit we've had cows running loose down the street goats <laughs> it's interesting living next door to a farm and I'm sorry you can't actually see me cutting I, I I'm sorry I suck 
Oh, that's Penny. She's like, ah. But, um, what are the big dogs doing? Um, Junior's sitting in here on the chair, and Lola's probably in there on the bed. Yeah, she probably is in bed. Oh. You know how she likes that bed. She loves her bed. You know, but she's, she's an old girl, so... See, she deserves it. Okay, I'm gonna put some truffle salt on these. I'm not gonna do the mushrooms, I think. Maybe I will. But I'm gonna put them in a little bit. Cause they're really small and I feel like if I put them in here, I don't know if that makes sense. The lemon is for later. Okay. I'm also going to put some pepper on this. Mmm. Yeah, the rainbow pepper. This is. No, we don't have any more rainbow pepper. This is, I think, triple colored. Okay, it's almost to three thirty. Oh yeah. Speaking of which, Junior had his yearly checkup and his shots today. So. I'll put them on now. I'll just keep a close eye on them. I'll put them over here. So, he's doing well. Should have asked. Maybe you should use to the, the fry the. Uh, to roast. To roast a little bit of ghee and the, the, the mushrooms. Hmm. Yeah, he's doing well. I should have asked for doggy uh, Prozac or something or doggy ADD pills. <laughs> he he hated going to the vet because he had to wear his muzzle because I really don't know if I trust him right now. Like, I know it's mostly Penny, but I'd hate to have him. I don't see where the ghee is, so. But I put down a olive oil with Parmesan and garlic. But yeah, I don't need him. I'm being a responsible pet parent and taking preventative measures. Is there another pig out there? <laughs> you know, because I, I just don't want to get in trouble. So, you know, just be responsible. Which is something people in this town do not do with their animals. Oh. So, like, there was this post in our community page. Man, I should read you some of this stuff sometime. There was this post in our community page that uh, there's this dog that's outside of Wells Fargo, like, every day. Because their owner works at Wells Fargo. <laughs> and they're like, oh, it's an emotional support dog. There's a penny, piece of penny right here. It's an emotional support dog and blah, blah, blah. But, like, and there, everyone, well, it, it's kind of torn. But a lot of people were like, oh, just leave the dog be. And then another people were like, well, dogs shouldn't be running loose. It's a whole thing. It's insane. Because people just let their dogs. I never, I'm going to have to go. I'll be back. I pushed record at the wrong time. This pamper chef zester. To zest the lemon. Zest the lemon. This would be awesome with the ASMR microphone. Should I try doing that sometime, guys? <laughs> I don't know if I can get the house quiet enough, though. That's the problem. That's a lot of zesty lemon. Okay. I love this. It looks like a little fish. I got it from Pamper Chef. And it actually has a container you can put underneath to catch the zest. But I was like, you know. I'm just going to put my zest in here. 
for now because this is a lot smaller than that container and our counter space is already very very precious by the way hi Amanda if you're watching I hope you are I hope I haven't scared you away lemon zest then it says to quarter the lemon you got a quarter babe okay. <laughs> I'm kidding I'm kidding I don't want to touch money while I'm cooking because here you go it's been quartered don't touch it I wasn't going to. <laughs> we don't know where it's been I don't know why I have to quarter the lemon because I've got a juicer <laughs> I guess it makes it easier I forgot to microwave it for 10 seconds or whatever it is you do to get the juices out I've never heard of that trick until Josh anyone else ever heard of that trick Ta -da. Let's see it says I have an hour this is an extreme close-up <laughs> I put those in the oven to cook for 20 minutes. So now I'm gonna chop up these chives. I love fresh chives. So delicious. Too bad I don't have my ASMR microphone I got. Put it right next to the chives as I'm cutting it. You can hear the scissors. Like really good. The only thing I don't like about that microphone, I still haven't figured out how to use it, like turn off the noise reduction or turn off the noise reduction thingy vinegar because all you can hear is what is exactly said into the microphone. Like it cuts out all the background noise. I'm not, not saying that's a bad thing necessarily. I'm just saying it's probably not good for making these kinds of videos. This is enough. So who loves fresh chives? And I don't know, they don't mess me up as much as uh, onions do. Uh, anyone else in that club? Like, onions just make my tummy hurt, but chives don't. Okay, we'll be back. Ah. And I'm back again. So let's check out the vegetables. So they're looking nice and vegetably. I should turn on the heat while I'm cooking the noodles. Got water. Okay, so da -da -da -da. while everything roasts, bring a large pot of salted water to boil. Okay, here we go. Ta -da. <laughs> We're just going to use some regular pink salt here. Okay. And then it says to zest and quarter the lemon. Thinly slice the chives. Did that already. Should have done that earlier, but I was making brownies in between. Special brownies. Um... Let's see. Special brownies for my special friend. <clears throat> um, they've got peanut butter in them. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Cook stirring occasionally. Al dente, 9 to 11. Reserve half a cup of pasta water. Then drain and return pasta to pot. Toss with a drizzle of olive oil. While pasta cooks, pat steak or chicken, blah, blah, blah. We don't have to do that because we've got no meat in this one. Okay. Heat pot with pasta over medium high heat. Add mashed garlic, cream cheese, lemon zest, half the chives, 
and two tablespoons of butter. Okay, I'll get the butter out. Then and add Parmesan, stir in splashes of pasta water if needed. Stir in veggies and squeeze lemon juice. Season with salt and pepper as needed. Cool, so I'm gonna let this boil and I'm going to be back. He's over there putting a spice in a jar because it popped open. Here's our noodles. Our water is boiled. Anyone else do this? Put a spoon over the top. So like wooden spoon so it doesn't go over. I don't know. I learned that trick a while ago. Look, I've got spice on my shirt. <laughs> there we go. That smells so good. Okay, he's got this spice and we don't know what it is. But it smells delicious. It's yeah. some kind of rub. Yeah. And it tastes so good. Too. It's like a brown sugary. I think his mom gave it to us. But it didn't have a label, so I think we might and it was open. So I think we might have like used it once. And forgot about it. That happens sometimes, man. So, I'm just gonna, it doesn't say to break them in half, but I am. And we're also filming another video while filming this video. So that's pre-recorded too. <laughs> yes. In case you don't know, it's about our spices. So, ta-da! Okay, now that boils. It says, uh, don't want to make it too al dente, but a little al dente. So, 11 minutes, maybe. It says 9 to 11 for al dente, so I'll say 11 minutes to make it on the not so. Yeah. Alexa, set a timer for 11 minutes. Second timer, 11 minutes, starting now. The first timer's for my brownies. Okay. Okay, let's see. So now that the noodles are done, and we've got the vegetables done, let's see. Do I have the burner on while I do this? Okay, I was supposed to mash the garlic, but that's okay, I have. Okay. Let's see, high, medium, high heat. Turn it right there. Okay, we'll add a little bit of the water to get it nice and, and then we got the two Things of butter, I know, right? Mmm. And, um, just a little warning if you get stuff from every plate, do not believe the instructions because this is the second one that's taken way longer than they've said. I, I don't know anybody who. I, I, maybe that's how they. They have some really good chefs that are fast choppers and fast cookers. That was weird. When you went outside, the ring made the uh, thing glitch. <laughs> My battery is at like 35% right now. So I've learned that every plate dishes take forever. <laughs> forever. Anyways. Okay, we got the cream cheese. A lot of little truffle salt in here. Does it does say to add more salt. Yes. Look at that. I just got this. I'm gonna add some of my favorite garlic stuff too. I'm almost out. I need to order more. 
Let's see if they have it at Walmart. <laughs> Dum, dum, dum. Hey, babe, while I'm doing this, we grab a pasta bowl out of the cabinet, please. While I'm stirring the cream cheese and the butter. And let's see. Lemon zest. Mm. And half the chives. I was very confused by that. I was like, but that'd be such big pieces. <laughs> okay. This is called Farmer's Market Pasta. We'll add a little more water. Just a little bit. Oops. <laughs> I need to get an apron that says Hatter House or something. I'm going to look around. Or we're all mad here. Okay. This is looking pretty creamy and delicious, I hope. Okay. Now. Yes, I know. I'm shamelessly promoting Pampered Chef here. This is their juicer. Wow, that's a lot of juice. From a little bitty fourth of a... Ah, no, it's a lemon. You don't want it. You're not Penny. It's funny because lem she loves lemons, but she'll like play with them for like 20 minutes before she play uh, eats them. And she loves lemon juice. Yeah. Like I drink uh, my water with like little juice packets. Like I, it's true. I think I've shown you guys. Technically that could be another spice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm not gonna do all four. But there's my Pamper Chef juicer. Look at that, it still has juice coming out. Like this is, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay. Mmm. Well, I'll tell you, it smells really good. I'm going to put a little pepper in here. I think I'm going to put a little more of this. Because I don't see it. <laughs> okay. Ooh, you know what would be good? If this was made with chicken, some Tony Saturies would be really good. Yeah. Still kind of hot. So... <clears throat> Gotta, this is the garlic. I gotta mash that up a little. All the vegetables. Nice veggie fill. Maybe one day we'll make a fish recipe. I'm not big on fish, but Josh is. My mom can't eat fish. So we don't do a lot of fish. Let me mash up this garlic. Maybe I can use the juicer. But I have a garlic masher. I just really don't want to. Aha! <laughs> and again, it's a Pampered Chef one. And it even comes with this cute little brush to clean it with. I love that a lot of their stuff comes with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am not sponsored. <laughs> I'm just trying to support my best friend. Look at that. Ooh, little garlic noodles. Let me turn on the heat a little bit. Get some more garlic. I'm going to leave some of this to the side for you, babe. Some of the roasted in truffle oil garlic. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Truffle oil roasted garlic. And it just sounds sexy, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I want to like lick my fingers and taste it. Alexa, stop. Okay, I want to my fingers so bad. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the heat because this is pretty much just gotta stir it, mix it. 
whip it, rub it down. Mmm. Okay, we're gonna let this cool off while we grab the brownies out. So I'm gonna put this on pause, and we'll be right back for the plate. Uh, not the plate. Well, I'm gonna plate it for you guys, okay? So you can watch this sexy beast. Look at that. Ooh. Get lots of veggies in here. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. We'll be right back for the taste test. Okay. I made a mistake. What's up, y'all? I forgot to add the garnish. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Farmer's Market. You want to hold it up? Here we go. We'll get you. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Try to find a place to put this. And here is your fork. Give it a try. Junior's like, I, I will. <laughs> here comes Lola. No, it says garlic in it, guys. Lots of garlic. Can you taste it? Mm. So what do you give the recipe? Get a little. Mm. What do you give the recipe? Let me get some in here. That's pretty good. Some tomatoes. About an eight. Some zucchini. Real good flavor. Some noodles hanging down. Now I got smooch on my gin. Mmm. -hmm. And it's pretty easy. It just takes a while. <laughs> that is a little easy. Cooking it was like... Okay, um, every plate's a liar. None of their recipes take... There's a little time, and I've said that in the last one, too. I said that in the last clip. The recipes take significantly longer than it says. So, cooking it was like about a five. Tasting it, I'm going to give it... Hold on, i got to try some more. I think I should have put more lemon in it. Mm. No, that bite had the perfect amount of lemon. I'm going to give it a 7. It's really good. Yeah. Like, very good for you. Very good. I think Mom's going to love this one. Some end of ear. Get Mom a plate. And say goodnight. <laughs> Later. Peace.